Hi friends, Sustainable Starry, and I'm so happy I'm back in the kitchen and we are going to be working on a monk fruit blueberry jam recipe. I was just out picking wonderful organic blueberries. They are in season right now. And I thought I'd really like to make some jam, but I don't want any sugar in it. So how can you make jam without sugar? You use this, it's called monk fruit. So the other night I kind of did an experiment and I got it on film and now you friends can benefit from monk fruit blueberry jam that actually set up a hundred percent and it tastes really great. So a couple things that you're going to need. I like using the pint size wide mouth jars, but it's up to you how you want to do your jam. You're going to need your fresh blueberries, but also remember you can use raspberries right now. You can use strawberries, whatever is in season because the same amount of sugar, monk fruit sugar is going to go into this recipe. You're going to use pectine or low sugar sure gel. You're going to need a big water um, canner or just a big pot. Uh, and if you don't have a canning rack on for the bottom of your jars, you can use a towel. Uh, so that's basically all you're going to need. A couple other pots so you can cook your berries down and then add your monk fruit sugar. I'll show you how to do it. So let's get started. All right, my canning friends. So I like to get everything prepped right away. And what I have here is I'm going to do three batches of the blueberries that I picked. And what the recipe calls for is you take one fourth cup of the sugar and you mix it with one package of the low sugar sure gel. And that's what I did in each container here, each bowl. I put the one fourth cup of the monk fruit and I mixed it with the sure gel, remember low sugar. And now you're going to pour it into 10 cups of your blueberries that you picked. And I've got, as you see, three pots here. And just so you know, in the oven are my pint sized jars. I like wide mouth for my jams. And those are being sterilized at 150. And then I'm going to be putting on my water and get that up to a, 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 just a, a simmering, uh, rolling uh, simmer right now. Uh, you don't, it don't have to be a rolling boil right now, but I like to preheat my water. And as you see, what we have here is a huge canning um, pot. And I have the All-American uh, uh, rack which actually I like better than these water bath racks because things don't set flush. And so to make up for the lack of the rack on this very huge water canner, you just use a dish towel. And if you don't have a rack, remember, just put a dish towel on the bottom. So the burners are on, and what you're going to do is... Start smushing up your, and I, you know, that's the that's the technical canny, uh, can, canning um, uh, verbiage. Start smushing up your berries. You're going to start smashing them and mixing um, that monk fruit with that sure gel. And then you're going to add the rest of your sugar. Now, I'm not concerned about this jam setting up and being jam-like. Uh, so they do warn on the box that if you don't use the right amount of sugar, it may not set up. But I always say if it doesn't set up, you can always afterwards add a little bit of corn uh, starch and thicken your jam. So it's never a fail, but we'll, we'll show you how it turns out. This is kind of an experiment for me too, but I just didn't want to do any sugar for this recipe. I really wanted to use the monk fruit. So as you can see, what I'm doing is these are cooking up really nicely. And as they cook, I just smash them up a little bit. But I'm going to try to time it so all of these berries are done at the same time. This is the thing with the sure gel. You cannot double up your recipes. Don't try to double up your recipes because it will fail. And then we've got this one here. Doesn't that look great? All right, so now we got major production going on. So I got the first batch already poured in the jars. And remember, these are sterilized. And I've got my 
My little helper over here. I'm She's a got little helper. the little. There's the other batch. So we're gonna put our lids on finger tight, and the water is already on the burner. And what this, what you do is when this starts boiling, you're going to add the rest of your monk fruit. Now, I only added a, a cup and a half. That's it. So it's going to be up to you. You're going to have to taste and see how sweet you want it. But that's all I wanted because monk fruit, even though it's a one-to-one -one sugar replacement, it, it, I think it's just a little bit sweeter than regular white sugar. Doesn't that look great? That looks great. Now we're going to pour these into the jar, too. Okay, pour that a little bit in there. Always helps to have an assistant. Oh, too much. Oh, <laughs> too much. Sorry. Okay, I'll do it. See. Here, let's 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 switch. <laughs> we'll switch. We'll switch. We'll switch. You gotta learn how to eyeball it here. I gotta eyeball it. Gonna... Okay, that's right. This is Christy's first time. But that's okay. There we go. Easy fix. Oh, oops, sorry. It's all right. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Oh, yeah. And if everybody's drooling over this big canner, my friend uh, uh, Carol said she got it at what, Lehman's, right? I think years, it was Lehman's years, years ago. ago. Mm hmm. And if you get like a half a, a jar, don't worry about it because, and just the finger tight, because we'll just eat it up right away. I won't even there you put go. it in here. And that's a finger tight. That's good. And you can boil your, your lids or not boil your lids. It's going to be completely up to you. This time we didn't boil our lids, so we're going to see if they turn out. But that heat should. And if you haven't canned before, oh here. Actually, get all this extra equipment here and learn how to use it. Well, because this stuff is going to be a lifesaver. And you could usually they say about a half inch from the top is where you want to. Pour your jam, and you need probably a hot mitt is always good. And then if you want to look in here, you want to make sure that your water covers those jars, and you're going to bring it to a rolling boil after we put that that cover on. Okay. This is the best part. The popping of the jars. There we go, my friends. Blueberry monk fruit jam. So awesome. There you go. I'm so excited. Get out and get picking. Get out and get picking. There you go. Sustainable start. And thank you, Lord, for the bountiful that you provided today. It was a beautiful day. We had beautiful berries. Everything's 100% organic. And the price was right, and God provided. Thank you, Lord, for your bounty and your abundance.